Hello, I am back again and welcome to another wonderful topic. If you know we are here for the first time, I would like you to subscribe to this channel because you have so much to learn. It doesn't cost a thing to subscribe to this channel. So please make sure you press on that bell notification. When I post a new video, I would like you to be notified. So like I told you guys in my last video, um, when I talked about the Psalms, the powerful Psalms that you can use to defeat and disgrace your enemies. Remember that I told you guys that in today I am going to talk about in this particular topic, I am going to talk about dreams and some of their interpretations. Now hear me out once again. I never say to all of you that I'm a pastor. I'm not a pastor. I'm not even a seer. But I'm that person, that child of God that when I go deep down inside my prayers, God reveals things to me and so the same thing applies to you all you need to do is just to get serious with your prayers and you will see God in action so in today's topic I'm going to talk about dreams and like I told you guys the last time I will talk about my experience in some of my dreams concerning clothes have you dreamt about clothes in your dream you know Clothes signifies our personality. If you really want to know about what your clothes means, it it's actually signifies who you are, your personality, and everything that has to do with your being. So you can imagine when someone steals your clothes in the dream. Even if it's in real life, when someone steals your clothes in real life, it's not a funny thing because you will, you will try all your possible best to look for that clothes. How much more when someone store your clothes in your dreams that one the spiritual meaning of it is even scary now let's talk about this clothes thing because i really don't want to waste your time because i want you to learn something from this and i want to charge you up in your prayer life if i can be charged up i believe that we all can be charged up in, in our prayer lives except you believe in the other way around but please if you want your safety and protection Heavenly Father, God Almighty is the best for you, okay? So what does it mean to steal your clothes in the dream? Or what does it mean to see, to see yourself naked in the dream? Stealing clothes in this dream means stealing your glory, stealing your prosperity, stealing everything good about your life, things that you are supposed to be gaining in your life. But when it's being stolen in the dream, it signifies a big problem. It's not a good thing. So whenever you find yourself in your dream looking for your clothes or you saw someone stealing your clothes and unfortunately you couldn't hold that person to take back your clothes, it is not a good sign. Another one is like stealing your slippers or maybe when you see your slippers in the dream being carried away by by a river it's not a good sign that one is even death itself it means that you need to pray very well to take back your life by the special grace of god so that no harm shall be for you so it's always important for us to be a lot in our spiritual life and a lot in our dream so that you can fight back but you cannot fight back by your by by your mere power you need holy spirit to help you to fight back so let me use myself as an example to tell you people i'm not going to mention names but because i will keep the names to those people because there's something about dreams you someone can be presented in your dream using their faces witches and wizards can use people's faces to attack you and in reality you might think those ones are actually the ones attacking your life or it could be those ones that are attacking your life but you need the discerning spirits to be able to dictate if this is actually the person attacking you or the witches and wizards using them to attack you i had a dream last month then in this dream i saw a colleague of mine returning my clothes i was in my house in that dream with my children and i heard her voice talking to my first child so i came out and i came out i wanted to know why she visited now in reality this colleague of mine doesn't know where i'm living i don't even know where she's living we don't know each other's houses but we are in good terms we are not friends we are just colleagues but colleagues that are in good terms that can say hello to each other be happy for each other you know smile for each other and all that now in the dream I heard her voice, I overheard her voice in, in asking my daughter if I'm around. So I came out in that dream and saw her with two big buckle bag filled with my clothes, but well washed and ironed. You know, it was well, they were all well washed and ironed and folded neatly. They were so much and she was, she returned them. 
so immediately she saw me she said i am truly you know she called my name and said i am truly sorry i've hold i've been holding this your clothes for so many years and i am tired of holding them please forgive me i know i should have returned them a long time ago but now i'm returning it i am truly sorry please forgive me in that dream i looked at her and said are you tired of holding my clothes you think you can hold my clothes for eternity now you are tired and you are returning all of them she kept on pleading to me and said i should forgive her that she's actually returning them that she's tired of holding them i told her to drop those two those two bags you know down there on my feet she actually did and the next thing she said okay i'm going now thank you so much for understanding she left so i opened the two bags i actually saw my clothes she washed all of them and ironed all of them neatly packed so in that dream i carried my clothes went inside my room, dropped them. As I was coming out from my room, I opened my eyes. It happened to be a dream. I woke up in the middle of the night and I'm like, this is not just an ordinary dream, but I know something good has transpired here because God has returned all of my stolen wealth, stolen prosperity, stolen glory, or stolen anything good. God has returned all back to me. So I begin to pray the moment I opened my eyes. I started praying to God. First of all, I, I asked for forgiveness of my sins and thank God for for his mercies over my life and household then i begin to thank god for recovering my stolen goods back and of course i made general prayers and that was it so i went about um, my business as usual i told um, my family member one of them concerning this and that's it i went about my business so as a mere mortal that i am i didn't read meaning into it so barely one week of that dream i had another similar dream in this particular one i saw this particular colleague of mine again she was looking tattered this time around not like um a mad person but she was looking tattered she, so she was coming straight to me and i was watching her in that in that dream and she walked up to me and said uh, Chege, please can i just get five thousand naira from you i'm hungry i want to buy food without hesitation i just told her take whatever you need from the woman selling um, selling food stores there, I will pay for it. Just take whatever you need, I will pay for it. She said, okay, I mean just 5,000 naira. I said, no, just take whatever you need. No matter what you take, I will pay the woman later on. She said, okay. She pretended as if she wasn't angry of what I said because she didn't get the money from me. She turned around immediately and went straight to that woman. So I was, I was just watching her in that dream, like again in the dream. So she went to the woman. What I heard clearly was, Madam, do you have bread? Please give me bread. Give me. I didn't hear the rest. She, she started ordering the things she needed. And I was that place that I stood and was observing what she was doing. And inside my mind in that dream, I was like, you again. I opened my eyes again in the middle of the night. And I was like, God, what are you trying to tell me concerning this person? Initially, I didn't read meaning concerning the whole thing but why am i seeing her again the same face the same person trying now to take five thousand naira from me and please if you want to know what it means for someone to take your money in the dream or to or to steal your money in the dream it means your downfall it means lack it means you will never rise up again do not allow anybody to steal your money in the dream and do not allow anybody to take from money from you because these are demonic agents they are looking for loopholes they are looking for a way to push you down so they will try every possible means to take whether your earring whether your your handbag purse or your money even if they take your purse it means like how much more when they get that raw cash from you and still i refuse to give it to her you know guys i'm saying this because by the help of the holy spirit i am becoming stronger and stronger spiritually when i told her to go and take whatever she wants she actually went and i opened my eyes so i begin to fire the prayer now this time around unlike before i now mentioned her name because the first time I saw her returning loads and loads of my clothes, I, I, you know, I was, I felt somehow, I felt uneasy. I felt like I really do not want to associate her with anything. Because in actual sense, we are not even friends, we are just colleagues. And I can't remember giving her my clothes in real life. But I know that on locations, I have had my gold 
earring and necklace and pendants being stolen before until today we couldn't find the person i have had incidents where i lost my clothes my personal clothes on location till today i couldn't find who stole my clothes so when i saw her the first time i truly do not want to associate her with all those ones that happened in the past in reality but seeing her again barely one week now I'm coming to take back things guys i think the devil had realized that they made mistake by returning back what actually belongs to me that is those my clothes but in reality my glory my prosperity my moving forward they regretted it or not just regretting because the devil cannot do things by himself in terms of because you've been begging and pleading no the devil returned this because the fire of the Holy Ghost was too much upon him and it has been burning him even though my clothes were too hot for them to handle. So they brought it back. Now they felt that they, they shouldn't have brought it back to me and they now came back again to take money from me to now seize my prosperity, to seize my finances, to seize every good thing that concerns me. But this time around, I was at a lot. I am still a lot. I said no. Instead, go and take what you want, I will pay. I didn't even pay the woman in dream. I was watching the whole scenario playing out and I opened my eyes. I begin to fire a prayer. I begin to fire the prayer. And I was calling her name this time around. I said, God, I don't know what is going on, but you, oh Lord, you know. You see in the hidden, in darkness, and in physical. So, Father, go straight and attack my enemies. Pursue those that pursues me. Whoever they are, wherever they are. I don't care to know who they are. I don't care to know if I'm, in, if I'm in good terms with them in reality. Father, fight this battle. This is not my battle. This is your battle. I begin to fire the prayer. I cannot even mention the rest of the things I say, but it was hot that midnight. I couldn't sleep. I kept on firing the prayer, and at the end of the day, I ended my prayer and went back to bed. I didn't see her again. Now, I dreamt about this same face two consecutive times. Now, don't come out to tell me it's just a dream. It is not just a dream. God is trying to show me something concerning this person. And this person I'm talking about in reality is always fond of being the first person to call me on the phone to say, I saw you doing this. Wow, how did you get to that? I, I heard that you know this person. How did you know that? Thing? This, can you, this is somebody that is always fond of doing this. Now, that's the same face I saw. So, dreams means a lot. Even in, in, in our Bible, I have it here. In our Bible, in Zechariah 3, 4, the Lord says to those standing before him, remove the filthy garments from him. Again, the Lord said again, I have taken away your iniquity from you and will clothe you with festal robes. That is a king's robe. Now, the Lord is saying this in Zechariah 3, 4 and Zechariah 3, 3. The, is, in this verse, we are talking about when you see yourself wearing a filthy cloth in your dream. It means burden, lack. It, it means everything that is bad. Now the Lord is saying that he has taken it away from you. And for the Lord to do this, you need to embark in a serious prayer so that the Lord God will take away those iniquities, those filthy things in your life. This is what this particular one is talking about. I just told you guys how I recovered my stolen clothes and the same face came back to take money from me, but I refused this time again. Now, like, now, like I told you guys, we are talking about meaning of uh, different, mean, different dream meanings of clothes. Because I know we all dream about clothes or you must have dreamt about clothes. Now, there's the one tangled clothes when you see yourself in the tree wearing a tangled clothes you know clothes that is tangled and rough it means insecurity and personal fear you are insecure about yourself and you are afraid you might even be afraid for nothing the only way to break this insecurity and fear is through prayer you, you need to begin to ask god and beg god to remove your fear remove your insecurities and make you strong and closer to him and fight your battles that's what i mean by when you see yourself wearing a tangled clothes or rough clothes in the dream it means insecurity and fear then another one is when when you see yourself with clean clothes like you see yourselves putting on a very clean clothes or you see yourself with clean clothes like 
having yourself with very clean clothes around you or putting it on. This one means problem solving and inner peace. It means you have solved your problem or it means the Lord has solved your problem and you now have inner peace. It also means that there's a miraculous solution to your problem and it's about to happen. What I mean by that is when you see yourself wearing a clean clothes or when you see yourself having so many clean clothes around you, it means there's a miraculous blessings that is about to manifest in your life and it also means problem solving. That is you've solved your problem and you have inner peace. Now, when you see yourself naked in the dream without putting on any clothes, like you are walking on the streets, you are completely naked. To the extent that somebody you know even asks you, why are you walking naked? And in that dream, you are telling him or her, like, I'm not, wear I'm not walking naked, I'm, I'm wearing my clothes. But you, are, you were actually stuck naked. It means poverty. It means lack. It means backwardness. It is a horrible thing that can happen to anybody. You need to embark on vibrant prayer you need it this is there, there's no two ways about it this is not about telling somebody to pray for me no you need to do the prayer by yourself even while so many people are praying for you but you need to embark on a serious firebrand prayer so that you begin to see yourself with clothes in your dream it is terrible imagine it in real life walking about naked on the road what does it signify in real life madness now in your dream it signifies backwardness, lack, lack of everything good. Lack of finances, lack of peace, lack of everything. And it's a bad thing. Begin to pray about it. Then another one is when you see someone in your dream wearing your clothes. When you, whether your friend, whether somebody you don't know, but you actually saw your clothes and another person is putting on that clothes. It means your glory is being used by another person. The good things that are supposed to come to you will be going to that person. In reality, you might be getting things good, you know, you might be getting good things thinking that you've gotten enough, but no. It is not where God actually wanted you to be. For example, you see yourself... Um, paying for your house rent and you're happy you paid for uh, for your house rent which of course we are supposed to be happy paying for it but you wouldn't know that in actual sense God wants you to own mansions not even just mansion but mansions in fact in reality you are supposed to be a landlady or a landlord and not someone who is living in a rented place you wouldn't know then, we, and because you saw someone using your clothes in the dream, it means that your glory is being used by another person and not you. How do we break it? The same prayer, vibrant prayer. And back on midnight prayer, pray without season. Before you know it, you will break all these things, all these enemies that are using your glory to shine, using everything that has to do with you. You will disarm them by the power of the Holy Ghost and you recover everything that belongs to you, rightfully belongs to you. Now, this is all I have to talk to us about clothes in our dreams. You heard my story. Don't just look at me after watching me. You are like, she's just talking. It's just a dream. It is, my dear, your dream is not just a dream. Actually, dreams are ways that God can talk to us. God can show us things that are about to happen or things that are happening already in our life. And you guys should not forget that spiritual controls the physical. Whatever you see that is happening in the dream is being planned in the dream that is in the spiritual before they manifest in the physical. So if it's a bad one that has been planned in the dream, destroy it in that dream by the power of the Holy Ghost so that it will not manifest in reality. But if it's a good one you, you are seeing in the dream, now embark on prayer so that it will come to pass in reality. And in one of my dreams again, I saw an old colleague of ours, an elderly man, dead long time ago. He died a very long time ago, like so many years ago. He was actually old before he died. But I saw him in this dream, looking like a madman, tattered. He wasn't putting on shoes or slippers. The trousers were all tattered. He was carrying dirty things in his dirty bag, torn bag, and walk. You know, when you see a madman walking on the road. And I was sitting somewhere watching him. In my mind, in the dream, I said, I, I mentioned his name, his name and said, but he's dead. Why is he looking tattered? Where are his family? This is not good. And he walked past. Now I woke up. I remembered the dream. I prayed. 
if you want to know the interpretation of interpretation of that dream now somebody will come and tell me he's in, he's in hellfire no i'm not talking about hellfire here but all i can tell you the actual interpretation of that is that all in the spiritual realm is not really well with him like he's not in it he's not how do i put it like his soul is not resting let me put it like that they've taken the life but that's by the way me who are aware in the daytime he needs his family in the real life in the physical world to actually pray very well for his soul so that he will find himself in a better place so that he will be clothed well instead of looking like a mad person in that dream i have seen some people in the dream there the long time ago but when you see them from afar they look happy they are wearing clean clothes even new clothes and everything new looking so happy and relaxed but i saw this one looking like a madman and tattered so for me i would say his family needs to be putting him more and more and more in prayers asking god to forgive all his shortcomings when he was leaving as for mentioning where he might be, we're not God. We don't know where anybody goes, whether heaven or hell. We don't know. All I know is that we need to pray for some souls. If they happen to be in purgatory, you pray for them, for God to forgive and accept their, their souls finally. There are some souls you will see in, in the dream. You don't need anybody to tell you where they belong to. Maybe you saw a soul uh, dining and whining with devil. Do I need to tell you any other thing? No. But when you see this one looking dejected, walking alone, looking sad, walking barefooted, Honestly, the family needs to pray harder for him to actually have a relaxed place. All right? So this is all I have to talk to us about dreams. So starting from now that you're watching me, anytime you have these dreams and you don't know the meaning, please, when you wake up, pray over it, whether good or bad dream, pray over it. God reveals things for, for us through our dreams. Don't just say it is just a dream. It is not just a dream. That is the only way God can talk to you because in the daytime, like I always say, it's always noisy. Even if God is talking to you in the, in the daytime, you won't hear him. So he chooses to talk to us in the middle of the night when our soul has drift, drifted away from our body. That is when God can talk to you. So for you to know how to remember your dream is still prayer. Always ask God to help you remember your dream, whether good or bad. Assuming you wake up, you did not remember your dream. Begin to cancel any bad dream, whether you remember or not. And begin to ask God to manifest the good ones, whether you remember or not. But it, it will be best for you to always remember your dreams. If you watch my channel, there's places I thought what and what you can do to always remember your dreams. But remember before any other thing we can do in this life, prayer first. So that is all I have for us today. And I hope you've learned something from, from this. Please subscribe to this channel because I'm going to be bringing you more and more things you need to know. And in my next topic, I'm going to talk about how you can detect and know a witch or wizard close to you how you can detect and know a witch or a wizard beside you or close to you that's the next topic for another time but for now i have to say thank you so much and i hope you enjoy this remember to put down your comments on the comment section so that we can interact with each other and again tell me where you're watching me from and let me give you a shout out in my next video for now i have to say thank you so much god bless you take care of yourself and bye